Good morning, Red Hawks Nation. This is Marcia Loy at the Bell MTS Center. You're watching Red Hawks 360 News. Friday and good morning Red Hawks. Welcome to Special Guest Friday uh, on the R360 Morning News. I am your host, Mr. Duet. I can't believe they let us do this again. I know. I'm Mr. Hopper. Unbelievable. Today is Friday, April 26th and day two on the school calendar. All right, so check it out. It is grade seven, eight flex block today, which means cooking, RPG, horticulture, and drama. So much drama. So much drama. Especially in that, I shouldn't say too much. In sports news, on Wednesday, the grade 7-8 badminton team traveled to Oak Bluff School to compete in the RVAA, RR, double R, double, double let me R. get this right, double R, V, double A, regional tournament. Nicely done. <laughs> Our players face some of the toughest competition of the season with Eva and Breezy uh, competing to, in the girls' singles event. Titan and Peyton competing in the boys' singles event. Jenna and Hannah and Tina and Jacqueline the, in the girls' doubles event. Matt and Bryce and Avery and Eli in the boys' doubles. And then Zach and Jordan and Hudson and Kirsten in the mixed doubles. They were missed, but boy, was it an easy day. Yeah, Matt, and Bryce, yeah, yeah. No, so Matt and Bryce and Jenna and Hannah each only lost one game in their event, placing them both in second in their category. Avery and Eli and Peyton uh, both had to play in a tie-breaking game for fourth place in their event. Avery and Eli pulled off a 21-20 to win in a point-for-point -point match to take fourth place. Let's go, tension. Congratulations to the three doubles teams that will be competing in the Divisional Finals Tournament uh, next Wednesday at Sanford Collegiate. Go I mean, go Hawks. Go Hawks. What were, what were you about to say? Go you know, Sabres, right? They're cool. I, I know what is on Sabres. your chest, Mr. Hopper? Sorry. <laughs> Let's remember our alliances. Oh, my goodness. Meanwhile, uh, <clears throat> yeah. back, back to cheering for the Hawks. Meanwhile, in senior varsity badminton, it is Red Hawks history with Riley Schellenberg capturing a Zone 4 championship in girls' singles competition. Nice work. Way to go, Riley. What an amazing achievement. I think that is our very first uh, badminton banner in our school's history. Wow. Avery's dad, Justin Brandt, I think might have okay. in boys' singles many years ago. I'll have to double check that. So a little fact checking. We'll get back to you on Monday about that. That's anyway, I think it might be the fact, first. Fact checking on like Avery's dad? Who's isn't that, isn't Avery's dad Justin, Justin Brandt? No. Who Avery am I thinking Duke. of? Avery Brandt. No. You're off base here. Uh, we, we, we did Cash. 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 Yeah, Cash, yeah. Cash, Colton. What's, They've got two others. You could have fact, you could have called me out this on our practice. I said it in uh, practice. We have dress rehearsals to <laughs> check these things. You could have totally called me that earlier. <laughs> okay, my producer here totally let me down. Okay, well. I thought Avery was one of the Brandt boys. Uh oh. So remember, students. Tonight. Who is Avery? <laughs> Did I make him up? Is there an Avery Brandt? I've never heard of Avery. Well, Brandt. I made up the last name. Avery Brandt, if you're out there, report to the R360 studio and we'll figure Oof. out who you okay. are. Okay, okay. <clears throat> All right, so remember, I, students, tonight the Jets are in Colorado. Let's go! Take on the Avalanche in Game 3 of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Today, oh yeah, so today Red Hawks are painting the school white and wearing their Jets gear and white clothing. Go Jets, although not company, present company, not necessarily. Well... I love West Side Story, but I was more of a Sharks guy. First the, first the Sabres gaff, and now the no... Whatever. Your grandma would what? love no, that, no, though. No, 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 let's move on. Okay. Well, All tune right. into the news on Monday to find out how your Jets are doing after the weekend of games. Your Red Hawk of the Week is Jesse Reimer from Grade 3. Jesse Reimer, congratulations. Your teachers say that he is a very honest, responsible, and considerate student. Jesse notices when others are in need of a helping hand and acts accordingly. When working in a group, he takes everyone's ideas into careful consideration and is able to think critically to come up with solutions. Jesse's leadership and exemplary character traits exhibited are truly commendable. Way to go, Jesse! Absolutely. Now, hey, would you like to nominate a Rose North School student or staff member? Maybe this guy for Red Hawk of the Week? That guy. Yeah, I mean, just essentially, like, is somebody being awesome in the school? Like, let us know that they're awesome, mm -hmm. and then let's like get it up on the news here, guys. Yeah, all you've got to do is email redhawks360 at rrvsd.ca with your nomination, and tell us how that person has made a positive impact on our school community. 
The R360 News would like to send out happy birthday wishes to Jeanette Martel, Clea Siemens, and Clea Siemens for tomorrow. And to Tenley Clausen for Sunday. Happy birthday, y'all. Happy birthday, Jeanette, Clea, and Tenley. Now, those are all of the stories, as best as we were able to present them, uh, that we're covering for this morning. And this week, this is Mr. Duick. And this is Mr. Hopper signing off. You guys have a great day. Have a great Happy weekend. Happy Friday. Let's go, Jets. Oh. Oh.